Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and work our next problem, which really follows the same sort of pattern. They all do. You just have to have your calculus skills have to be there, otherwise it's going to be harder than it um, than it actually is. So let's go ahead and say that our differential equation is dx dt plus 3x is equal to t. Now first check and make sure, okay, is this first order linear? Yes it is, because this is a first order equation because it's got one derivative, um, and it's got function of time here, which is just one, function of time here, function of time here, so it's really there. And on top of that, it's already in standard form because there's nothing out here. So we don't even need to do that other first step where we divide uh, the first, the leading term. So really, we've already got a little bit of a head start. So what we need to do is we say, well, this is going to be the non-homogeneous version of the equation. Now, let's form the homogeneous version. The homogeneous version is the same thing but with a zero over here. So we say dx dt plus 3x is equal to zero. This is the homogeneous version. Homogeneous basically in this case just means that we just put a zero over in place of the what we call the forcing function, uh, the function of time over there. Okay, and next we're going to separate the variables because we're going to solve this guy. The only way to we really know how to solve that is to separate the variables. So let me go ahead and write separate variables. So let's do that. Let's move the 3x over here. So we're going to have dx dt is equal to negative 3x. Move the dt over there. So we say dx is equal to negative 3x dt. Let's move the x back over here. 1 over x dx is equal to negative 3 dt. And you see we came up with the same thing over here. 1 over x. Same thing we got last time. You're going to see this a lot because when you separate variables, you're almost always going to have a, a 1 over x here. So we integrate both sides. So we have integral 1 over x dx is equal to the integral of negative 3 dt. Now the integral of 1 over x is the natural log of x. Integral of this guy is negative 3t plus some constant. For now, let's call it c. So we're getting very close. Now we want to solve for x because that's the solution to this homogeneous equation. Um, so what we're going to do is raise both sides of this equation to the power of e, which is exactly what we did last time. All right, so what we're going to have is once we raise this side to e, we're just going to have x over here because they're going to annihilate each other like in the last problem. And on the right-hand side, we're going to have e raised to the power of negative 3t plus this constant negative 3t plus this constant, but we're going to find over and over again that it's better to write this as e to the power of the constant multiplied by e to minus 3t. And if you go backwards, you'll see that that exactly equals that. The reason that we're doing that is because we're going to just relabel this constant. e to the power of constant is just a constant. We're going to relabel it k for now, and we're going to say it's multiplied by that. All right, so we've made a tremendous amount of progress. This is the solution. I'm going to write that down here. This is the solution to the homogeneous version, which is the simpler version of the equation without the forcing function, the, the function of time over there. And so we're going to go ahead and, and, and use this to find the solution to the other part. Now what we're going to do is vary the parameter. We're going to cause this to vary as a function of time, and then we're going to go from there. So x the current version that we have is k e to the minus 3t and we're going to let it vary okay as the following k is a function of time we're going to say okay now it's a function of time times e to the minus 3t and now we're to the point where we can make some real progress what are we going to do next we're going to take this and we're going to plug it into the non-homogeneous version of our equation over here uh, to solve for this. So what we need to do is plug in to n, which is the non-homogeneous version, which is dx dt plus 3x is equal to t. Now in order to plug into this, yeah, we, we have x here and we can plug it in here, but we need to take the derivative in order to be able to stick it in there. So let's calculate the um, derivative. So let's calculate that. dx dt, taking the derivative of this. 
this times the derivative of this plus this times the derivative of this. So we'll have k of t times the derivative of this exponential, which is going to be negative 3 times e to the minus 3t, right, plus the exponential times the derivative of k. Simply, this times the derivative of this gives us all this stuff, plus this times the derivative of k. Well, we just have to leave it as k prime because we don't know what else to do with it. So let's go ahead and take and let's plug everything that we have now into the non-homogeneous equation. So substituting in for this, we have negative 3k of t e to the minus 3t plus e to the minus 3t times k prime of t. All that stuff is just putting in the derivative plus 3 times x, but x is given up by the solution, so it's k of t e to the minus 3t, and that's going to equal to t on the right-hand side. So we've plugged everything in. Now look at what happened here. We have a nice cancellation between this and this. And again, you'll always see that. Always look for that. When you plug it into the non-homogeneous version, look to see if you cancel anything. It has to happen. Otherwise, you did something wrong. So. Let's go ahead and, and continue rewriting this. So we have uh, e to the minus 3t times k prime of t is equal to t over there. And we're trying to solve for k, so let's manipulate this over here. So k prime of t is equal to uh, t times e to the 3t. t times e to the 3t. So what we're going to have is we're going to move this over here. It's going to be in the denominator, but we'll just take the sign out and flip it up and put it on the top. So that's basically what we're doing there. Now, what we're going to do is solve for k. So, because that's what we need in order to find the answer. So k of t is equal to the integral of t e to the 3 t d t. We do the integral on the left and we get back k, which is what we want. The integral on the right we've just written here. Now, how do you solve that integral? This is what I'm saying in differential equations. You're trying to learn how to solve the equations, but really in order to do it, you have to know your calculus well. Your intuition should tell you that the best way to solve this integral is integration by parts because you have an uh, indestructible function, this e function, and then you have this, this function that's not indestructible. If you keep taking derivatives of this, it'll, it'll eventually disappear is what I mean by that. So your intuition should tell you that integration by parts is probably the best way to go, uh, and it is. So what I'm going to do is just make it totally clear. So I'm going to rewrite what we're trying to do. k of t is equal to integral t e to the 3 t d t. So that's what we're trying to integrate, right? That's what we're trying to integrate. And so what we need to do is figure out what u and v are going to be for integration by parts. So u, we're going to say, is equal to t dv is going to be equal to everything else. So e to the 3 t dt. If you don't think you know integration by parts or partial fractions really well, go back to calculus and, and refresh your memory on that because, uh, you know, trying to, trying to, to wrangle with that on top of the differential equation is just really difficult. So you have to know how to do this stuff pretty well. So let's continue. du is equal to dt. Just taking the derivative of both sides here. To find v, I'm just going to say it's the integral of e to the 3t dt. But I know how to integrate this. But I know how to integrate v. I'm going to say v is going to equal to, taking the integral of this, 1 over the derivative of the exponent is 3. And then we have e to the 3t because it's indestructible. That's what v is going to equal. And ultimately, we do integration by parts so that we can plug into the following little relation. uv minus integral v du. So let's do that. U is here, so that's t. V is here, so I'm going to have 1 third e to the 3 t minus the integral of v, which is right here, 1 third e to the 3 t du, where du is equal to dt. So you see, I have made progress because, okay, this is just function of time. That's cool. Here, I know how to integrate this. So what I'm going to have is t times 1 third uh, e to the 3 t minus, now what am I going to have here? I'm going to have 1 third, like this, divided by the derivative of this um, exponent, which is 3, 
e to the 3t, right? That's what I'm going to have. And uh, that's going to have a constant of integration associated with it. So let's tidy this up a little bit. Let's say, okay, we'll have t over 3 e to the 3t minus, this is going to be 1 ninth, e to the 3t plus a constant. All of this integration by parts business was just used to find the integral to find what k is equal to. So this is equal to k of t. Now, we're basically done because we know that um, we need to, that the actual solution to this guy is going to be x of t is equal to k of t times this guy, e to the minus 3t. And we just found what k of t is, so let's just plug it in there. So x of t uh, is going to equal to k of t, let's just put some brackets here, let's keep it straight, t over 3 e to the 3 t minus 1 ninth e to the 3 t plus this constant. And then on the outside, we're multiplying by e to the minus 3 t, e to the minus 3 t. Now, for x of t, we have, now think about it, when you take this and you multiply it in by this guy, you're going to have e to the 0 power, 3 t negative 3t. You're going to have an e to the 0 power, so that's going to be a 1. So that just disappears. So t divided by 3 is going to be e to the 0 is 1. When you multiply this times this, you're also going to have e to the 0, which is going to be 1. So you just have the 1 ninth left. And then over here, you've got the constant times e to the minus 3t. So you have t over 3 minus 1 ninth plus c times e to the minus 3t. And this is the answer.